Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like, and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, Aries. Um, so y'all are very determined, huh? And I mean, you're pretty determined anyway. But like once I started, like immediately, immediately as I started connecting with your energy, which I started doing that before I even started recording here. I mean, everything just got real serious, real focused, real down to earth, um, factual you know, logical, I mean, straightforward, to the point, not fucking around, not taking any shit. 
um, you're very much focused, Aries. You could be focused on your uh, your pentacles. You could be focused on your love life. But what I feel like, yeah, here goes Archangel Michael. What I feel like you're focused on right now, Aries, and Archangel Michael's appearance is really kind of um, uh, corroborating that, I guess you could say, is um, cutting things out of your life that don't serve you, that only hold you back, that only keep you down, um, that don't honor who you know you truly are, that don't, excuse me, that are not a reciprocal situation um it's not a balanced balance between give and take and you're very much aries you're very much in an energy of you know wanting to be a reciprocal part of a relationship but if but not willing to just be in any sort of willy-nilly relationship just because you don't have one like you're you're cool being on your own um If, if the relationships around you aren't balanced, okay? You're not, you're very much not in a codependent energy. So either this could be you, Aries, or this could be the person, you know, a, a person that you're very closely connected with. <clears throat> and if they've, con if they've gone cold on you, that's most likely why. Because they're like, uh-uh, uh no, I'm not dealing with the bullshit. I don't need it, I don't want it. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, and I do remember that last month for January, you know, the theme was, releasing narcissistic tendencies so you're probably still kind of feeling up in your feels about whatever that situation is moving into february um and from and from this point of view you're taking what you learn and you're putting it into action in other places of your life too um you have a really i just feel a very very strong focus for arians right now in terms of cleaning up their lives just cutting out the bullshit okay Final shuffle here for you, Aries, and then we're going to get into the energies. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Boop. All right, guys. Overall energy. Hallelujah. Queen of Cups. A Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay. We'll see if the Queen of Cups comes out. <laughs> goodness uh but this is the empress but i think why i was why i just said the queen of cups specifically is because you're embodying the queen of cups archetype within the empress okay the empress is the queen of queen queen of queens the emperor is the king of kings okay now with the empress um you're embodying this unconditionally loving energy um this self-supportive self-loving energy too and you're not wanting to be around anyone that doesn't support that within you that doesn't show you that okay in return because you're very much in a vibration of showing that towards others but if they're not willing to do it then you're not just you're just not going to waste your time with the situation all right you are the empress you are abundant you are loving you are also forgiving but it's not like you're going to forget all right you forgive and you know you can be acquaintances but until they show you something different boo boo i mean you're gonna have to stay in your lane i'm gonna stay in mine okay that's basically what aries is saying right now you have the two of wands oof the three of swords and the page of wands all right so two of wands three of swords uh there's heartbreak here and because you're loving yourself I, what this what i'm seeing here is that um, this heartbreak is influencing you to go within and see and, and, and do some self-discovery here. I do, I do often see the Page of Wands as a self-discovery card because you see how this person is inspecting that wand there. It's like he's looking to get to know it deeper on a deeper level, more intrinsically, right? Um, and so that's causing some sort of a change in perspective and is causing you to have to make a decision here. And the Empress is giving you that, the, the archetype of the Empress, the, the Divine Mother, is giving you that loving compassion, that Queen of Cups energy, the unconditionally loving energy, to love yourself enough to make a decision to go in a new direction here. Okay? Um, and this is all having to do with the influence of this Three of Swords energy. This could be a relationship. It doesn't have to be like a romantic relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a job. It could be anything. Anything for you that would be heartbreaking, or either you or the other person, really, because this is a general reading. The energies can go back and forth. Whatever is generating this heartbreaking feeling within you, you are 
it, it, this is influencing you to make a new decision to move in a new direction, okay? In a direction that's going to be more loving, more supportive, more reciprocal. So the first row here we're going to get into, this is the, uh, the energies that you're, you're in as you're moving into February, maybe in the beginning of the month. The second row is going to be the, the upcoming energies for the month of February, okay? First set of surrounding energies as you move into February, Aries, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, and it, it's interesting because this card did come out while I was doing the pre-shuffle here. Um, you're really working steadily and working very hard to uh, diligently, logically, but slowly. You're taking it one day at a time, one step at a time, but you're working very hard to uh, rebuild your foundation, to build the blueprint of your life. Um, <clears throat> to build a better blueprint, to, to, to chart a different map, a better map, a map that is more authentic to you potentially. Um, but you're moving forward slowly but steadily. Slow and steady wins the race is the name of the game here. Knight of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you're dealing with some a, a good amount of illusion most likely, and that is why you're having to take things one step at a time. <coughs> Excuse me. I do see that some of you are working on um, weeding through the chaos, working on weeding through the options or the illusions and trying to see things as they truly are. And you're taking it, basically, you're taking it one cup at a time, okay? Aries can be, is a very, a very fast moving energy. Aries is a cardinal energy. But I find it interesting that um, for some of you, you're embodying this Knight of Pentacles energy, which is in fact the slowest moving knight in the deck. Now for others of you, um, going on to the flip side here, excuse me, um, in dealing with you or you in dealing with them, you know, they're taking their time to really see the truth behind the situation. There is something that's heartbreaking here and um, there is a choice to move in a different direction. This could be to leave a relationship behind. Um, but instead of just making some sort of quick and hasty decision, I really feel like somebody is taking their time to investigate the pieces before they make their final choice. And that is wise and advisable. I mean, that could be... That, that, that depends on your situation, though, because if someone is consistently showing you this heartbreak or is bringing this heartbreak into the situation, what more do you really need to know? And they could be lying to you. They could be, you know, trying to pull a fast one over you and saying that they're actually making a move when in fact they're just saying that to keep you around, to keep you on the hook, essentially, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries, we have, yeah, look at that, the moon, deception. All kinds of deception up in this place, all right? Now this could be you, Aries, or this could be the person that you're dealing with but someone is not really telling the truth. Now, for some of you, what I'm seeing is you could be going through a dark night of the soul. Having, uh, uh, yeah, it could be you're dealing with a dark night of the soul type of situation, having in, in the face of needing to go, move in a direction, different direction. Maybe you are actively moving in that different direction already because of the heartbreak that ensued in the past. Um, and you're having to really pull on the faith that you have within the universe and the and abundance in order to really push through this. But either way, there's there's a, a there's, there looks to be a good amount of illusion around you, um, Aries, in some way. And I do see that some of you are working very hard to maintain a balanced view, to see things clearly, as clearly as possible. Um, if we're talking finances here, keep in mind that everything is not as it seems right now. So like if things are going really well for you or if things are not going so well for you or it seems that they're not going well, really well or it seems that they're, they actually are going really, really well, um, stay grounded, okay? Stay grounded because again, things are just, it's like things are up in the air um, things are not necessarily as they seem. You could be being called to uh, stay connected to your intuition here. Especially as you're trying to weed through all these different options here with, with the Seven of Cups, okay? The moon is coupled with, woo, justice. All right, so 
It could also be that for some of you, justice is being served and uh, you don't know how it's coming through. You don't know when it's coming through. You don't know what it's going to look like, but it's coming. Oh, it's coming. There could also be justice in the form of someone that's been lying, cheating, stealing, backstabbing, not being honest, trying to pull the wool over on you. There could be justice here, especially as you work to see to weed through the options and see things as clearly as possible. I'm seeing an illuminatory energy coming through. So you might so while you're dealing with the 7 of cups moon deceptive, unclear energy, there is justice that's coming through in, in light of that or in terms of that, however that resonates for you, okay? Your challenge in this first set of energies for you, Aries, we have temperance, balance, but also an Aries favorite, favorite word, patience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having the patience to allow things to work out in divine timing also. For some of you, you don't see this justice happening. It could just be that it's happening on an energetic side and you're not really seeing any physical evidence of it right now. Um, and, you know, it's slowly moving as far as the 3D time-based reality is concerned. And so you're getting trapped up in all this illusion. What you're needing to do is just be patient and let the universe handle it because it's being handled, okay, on your behalf. Uh, temperance is coupled with the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be either of those. It can be anything. It could be anyone. But ultimately, it's someone that's well-grounded. It's someone that's well-manifested. For those of you that are working on um, business-wise, like business situations, uh, the universe is saying that we are we are helping you manifest everything you want like this is happening Okay, this is in fact happening. You just have to give it time to manifest You just have to get it time to be solid and ready and down and you know and good You can't rush something like this and the king of pentacles is very much aware of that you cannot rush uh, ultimate, you, I was going to say ultimate fulfillment, but you cannot rush financial stability. You cannot rush being well manifested. You have to take it step by step, pace by pace, day by day, mile by mile, inch by inch, says the Knight of Pentacles. So stay focused on working towards the manifestation. Don't allow the illusion to get in your way, to cloud your vision, to cloud your judgment, to take you off course, okay? Closing message or the potential outcome here for this first set of energies for February, you have the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But also, um, what I'm getting for this, uh, Aries, is in this, pro in this moment of needing to have patience, needing to go with the flow, you have the opportunity to go within, do some deep soul searching, and to really understand yourself in a better sense, to shine more of your light. For some of you, you're needing to get into a business situation in which you are shining your light. You're using your light as, um, you know, as your product. It, it is who you are in essence, okay? So there's no reason why you shouldn't take advantage of that. It's different when others are taking advantage of your light, but it's yours to use for your own betterment and for the betterment of, of others around you. So do that, right? That's for some of you. Um... But there is definitely a need for introspection here. For some of you that are really having trouble with this patient a patience aspect of things, um, you're needing to go within and you actively have a chance to do that because, you know, things are a little bit moving a little bit slow right now when it comes to the 3D world. So use this time to master yourself, to see deeper into yourself. The hermit is coupled with, woo-wee, the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But... Wow. Um, what I'm getting with the devil is hastiness. Okay. And needing to keep that in check. But also facing your inner demons here. 
shining a light on these inner demons within and a, a doing that allows you to illuminate that the physical representation the physical manifestation the 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 attraction those that you're the, that you're bringing in through law of attraction from this inner demon situation for some of you you are actively shining a light on de, uh, uh, um, toxic narcissistic codependent blah 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 energies that are represented by the devil okay that's the biggest thing i'm getting with the devil here whether it's you're shining a light on your own inner demons or you're shining a light on the uh devil energy around you and i'm not saying you're being you're necessarily being a whistleblower in some cases you might be you know and aries might be prone towards that but um, it doesn't necessarily have to be it. You could just be, it, it, just, it could just be illuminated for you within your perception as you do your own inner illumination. When you find it in yourself, then you're able to find it outside of you, okay? For the second half of your month, the upcoming energies here, or at least not necessarily the second half of your month, but the upcoming energies for the month of February, first set of surrounding energies, you've got Six of Pentacles, reciprocity there's that energy that i was picking up on earlier where if it's not a balanced situation you want nothing to do with it all right six of pentacles is coupled with yeah the knight of swords there could be someone coming rushing in trying to um balance out the situation for you um be careful for some of you out there I feel like some of you have are kind of in a little bit of a volatile state right now, um, given what you may have gone through up until this point. And so if someone is stealing from you or if someone is if someone is not being in that reciprocal energy, is not giving back to you in, you know, in equal measure that you're giving to them, you might want you might want to say something about it. You might want you might get a little aggressive. You might go after them. Be careful. Don't waste your time with that. Just cut the situation out. OK. You could swiftly be moving towards or away from an energy that is, uh, you could swiftly be moving towards an energy that is reciprocal or a relationship that is reciprocal for you, or you could be moving very quickly away or quickly cutting out a situation that is not reciprocal, all right? And for those of you that are really taking your time to see, to make sure you're making the absolute right decision, like painstakingly, I see that towards the end, of you know moving through february you're making that decision and honestly you're probably coming to an understanding where it's like well shit i didn't have to spend all this time trying to make the decision ultimately it's not a balanced situation ain't nothing gonna make it balanced because this other person doesn't want it to be balanced or does not want to put forth the effort to make it balanced so i just need to cut it out boop there it is second set of surrounding energies for you in the upcoming energies of February, you have, look at that, the Queen of Swords. Now this, the Six of Swords and the Knight of Swords could be a conversation surrounding this. It could be an external conversation or it could be an, an internal conversation with yourself, an internal dialogue. And now I do see, this is officially the energies of really cutting this out, but the Queen of Swords is not even trying to have a conversation about it. She recognizes. And what I was putting out there just right before I pulled this card was an energy of, well, shit, why did I have to spend so much time wasting my time trying to figure this out? Because the Queen of Swords does not like to waste her time. Why did I waste so much time trying to figure this out when I know it's not beneficial for me and I need to just cut it out? And for some of you, with this hermit and the devil energy, it's going within and finding that you're attracting this toxic, this toxicity into your life. And that is giving you the all, that literally is giving you all the knowledge that you need to cut the situation off. You don't have to have a conversation about it. You don't need to hash it out. You don't need to hear their point of view. They don't need to hear your point of view. All that matters is you have been attracting this toxic, maybe even narcissistic com uh, situation and you need to just cut it out. Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Swords is coupled with the wheel of fortune. Look at that, Aries. Mm. Toxic cycles coming to an end, maybe? I think so. <laughs> Finally putting an end to this, though. 
Now, for some of you, this energy of t cutting out some sort of narcissistic situation that we were talking about back in January um, is like, okay, so you're still, maybe you're still dealing with this. So maybe you've been slowly but surely trying to, uh, maybe let me just give them a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt. Nah, fuck that shit. <laughs> No more benefits of the doubt, okay? Because you know it's toxic. You know it's narcissistic. You know it's not a beneficial situation. You know they're just going to keep taking and taking and taking and you're just going to keep giving and giving and giving and you're not going to get anything back. So just cut the, cut the shit. Free up your energy for something much, beneficial, much more beneficial to come in, all right? Your challenge and these upcoming energies for February, you have the Page of Pentacles. The first thing I got when I saw this card was there could be someone coming into your life that actually is honest, that actually is um, truthful and trustworthy and is <clears throat> down to make a commitment, is down to really work on building some sort of relationship with you. And your challenge here is to be open to that, to not be a pessimist and just cut it out completely in the beginning without actually giving it a chance. For others of you, this is a messenger. And it could be someone from the past. It could potentially be this person from the past that wants to come back and say, well, let's try again. But you know they're showing up as the Page of Pentacles. So you know they don't, they're not really, they're not, they're not the king, the queen. Well, they're not the knight and they're damn sure not the king or the queen. So what do they really have to offer you? I mean, maybe you would be more inclined to take a knight's point of view from it, but even still, that's going to be a little, a little, a bit of a hard sell too. Okay, page of pentacles is coupled with <clears throat> the lovers. Now, for some of you, <clears throat> for some of you, the challenge is starting over because you do have a balanced. Um, not, well, not necessarily a balance, but you do have a, uh, a, you could have a potentially a good deep tie to this person. But I, to, in that case, the challenge here is to really see, see past this classification here with the lovers, even though you might have a deep soulmate bond with them, they may be a past life, a situation, whatever, maybe a twin flame, whatever. The challenge is to see past this major blinding archetype to the physical reality, the physical representation, the physical incarnation of this person here. What are they really putting out? Are they just putting out page shit? Are they not even trying to put out some adult grown stable shit? If that's the case, bye Felicia, Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Now, like I said, for others of you, this is a situation in which someone is actually going to be coming into your life that is reciprocal in nature, that is wanting to start from the ground up and build something solid and truthful and honest with you, with integrity, um, with commitment even. And this doesn't have to be a major commitment. It's not really a major commitment now. It could just be a commitment to being an honest friend and wanting to start from the bottom up and to grow into something more. And this definitely could be a soulmate. But your challenge here is to not cut them off before they even get a chance to show you anything. And that would happen because you're coming out of this nasty cycle, okay? So with that in mind, let's go back a little bit. Go back to the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords here. There could be someone that could be coming in trying to be that reciprocal person, like I said. And um, you might be on the very much on the defensive with the Knight of Swords. But with the Queen of Swords here, you're needing to not only be discerning in the sense of figuring out whether or not they're actually truthful and they actually have something of value to offer. And you're also needing to close the karmic cycle of being on such a defense. 
Because if you really close this karmic cycle, you don't have to worry about that manifesting back in your life anymore because you're not even going to accept it. It's not a vibrational match to you. You're not allowing, aligning with that kind of situation any longer. And so you can let it go and leave it in the past and start to work on something of value with someone new, okay? Your closing message or the potential outcome here for the upcoming energies for February, you have the High Priestess. Now, the High Priestess is a secretive energy, but it's also a psychic and intuitive energy, and it's an extremely knowledgeable, extremely wise energy. So what I'm getting with this is because it mirrors the secrecy of the moon, here you're gaining the wisdom of what you weren't able to see in the past. You're gaining some downloads from the universe or from your higher self here. There's a deeper lesson at play here for you. Aries. The High Priestess is coupled with, ah, yep, the Ten of Swords. So yeah, you're learning. You are really, it's like you're integrating these lessons from the past. And this might be something that you really were not able to see in the past. It might have been something that was actively, actually hidden from you, but hidden for a reason. Because you needed to come to the understanding yourself. The universe wasn't just going to tell you. What are you gonna learn if we just tell you? You had to come to that realization yourself. And so now that you're really putting an end to this cycle, you have two tens here, 10, 10, but you have the 10 in the wheel of fortune and now you have the 10 of swords, which is saying the worst is behind you. And now that the worst is behind you, you're able to see the truth behind the lies here. It's almost as if you're embodying the energy of the empress. You see all, but you're not really saying anything about it. You're just taking your next necessary steps. That's actually pretty awesome. And uh, that feels like a really good ending to and completion to this narcissistic energy that seems to have been plaguing you, Aries. Whether you're the narcissist or someone you're connected to is the narcissist, okay? Alrighty, so now we're going to get into your oracle guidance for the month of February. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February 2019. Here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for all my Arians. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. There it is. Imagination underneath the deck. Oh, ooh. Uh oh. <laughs> underneath the deck, you have Beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is turning into, it is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Yeah, so someone's coming in for some of you out there. You have to be open and receptive to it. Leave whatever happened in the past in the past. Don't forget about it. Don't, 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 don't release it so much that now you're, you're, you're attracting it into your life again. Remember the lessons, but leave everything else in the past. Okay? You have imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. Don't dim your shine, Aries. Dream big. Go for, exact, I'm sorry, ask for exactly what it is you want from the universe. There is no order, order that is too tall for the universe. The universe is infinite. The universe says yes to everything. So get, so get really in touch with yourself. Okay, what is it that you really, really want? And I'm not talking about, oh, you know, I just, you know, just, just a little this, a little bit of that. No, 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 no. What do you want, Aries? What do you want? Go for it. You are no stranger to going for what you want, are you? Well. Well. <laughs> there it is, guys. Much love to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, and I look forward to connecting with you guys again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.